Hi, good day, welcome to our math class. Today's topic is about combined variation. And this is the last kind of variation. Let's have a short recap about the kinds of variation. So we have direct variation, inverse variation, joint variation, and the last one will be combined variation. Combined variation. So the reason why it is called combined variation is because it is a combination of direct and inverse variation or it could be a combination of joint and combined variation. So hindi po natin pwedeng matawag na combined variation ang pinagsamang direct and joint variation because kapag pinagsama nyo yung direct and joint variation still it will be a joint variation. So, kaya ang pwede lang ay direct and inverse variation and joint and inverse variation. So, that is called combined variation. So, we have here an equation for the combined variation. Y is equal to Kx over Z. So, if you're going to observe, so this is the direct variation part and this will be the inverse variation part. So direct is y is equal to kx and inverse is y is equal to k over z. At kapag pinagsama natin siya sa isang equation, so we call it combined variation. So I will give you another example of an equation which is a combined variation given that it is a combination of joint and inverse variation. So for example, we have here um, y is equal to k w x over z. So this one is an example of combined variation. We have here y is equal to k w x, which is the joint variation, and we have here y is equal to k over z, which is the inverse variation. Let's turn to the statement of combined variation. For combined variation, we don't use the word combinedly. Wala pong ganun. Since all throughout the discussion about variation, so we always use the, the term or the title of the variation. For example, in direct variation, so we use the word directly for the statement. In inverse variation, we use the word inversely. And for joint variation, we use the word jointly. But for combined variation, so we don't have such thing as combinedly. So, but we are going to use directly and inversely. So, we can make it a combined variation. So, the statement is y varies directly as x and inversely as z. So, here y varies directly as x and inversely as z. So, lagi pong mauuna yung directly or it could be jointly. Or we could rephrase that. Or we could rephrase that. Um, lagi pong mahuhuli yung inversely. So, in stating a combined variation, so hindi po natin pwedeng sabihin na y varies inversely as z and directly as x. So, mali po yung ganung sequence. So, ang kailangan po ay mauna yung directly at mahuli yung inversely. Or... Here, if we're going to read this, so it will be y varies jointly as w and x and inversely as z. So that is how um, we state a combined variation. For example, we have p varies jointly as the square of m and cube of n and inversely as r raised to 5. So, how are we going to change that or translate that into equation? So, if we're going to have that into equation, so it will be P is equal to square of M and cube of N and inversely as R raised to 5. So, susundan nyo lang yung flow ng statement. So, madali lang naman siya i-change into equations. So, again, if we're going to read this, it will be P varies jointly as the square of M and cube of N 
and inversely as r raised to 5. So that is how we change statement into equation. Let's jump to solving combined variation. So these two examples are combined variation. Now we're going to write first the equation. So let's base it on the statement given. Y varies directly as X and inversely as Z. So we have here Y is equal to KX and then inversely as Z, so over Z. After that, we're going to separate the whole statement into two parts. So this is the word find. So the first statement will end here at Z is equal to 4. So after separating the given statement, so we're going to solve for the constant. We have here y is equal to kx over z. So we're going to replace the value first. So the value of y is 9. And then bring down k. And then we have x. That is 3. And then over 4, the value of z. So, dito sa part na to, in combined variation, so, lagi natin gagamitin yung tinatawag na cross multiplication. Let's have first 9 over 1. So, cross multiplication. So, we have here 1 times k times 3. So, we have 3k. And then, multiply 9 by 4. And that will be 36. So that is cross multiplication. So we have to cross multiply 1 times k times 3. So that is 3k. So pinagpalit ko lang po yan yung position nila. Pero pareho lang po yung magiging sagot dyan. And then 9 times 4 is 36. So after doing the cross multiplication, so we're going to isolate the constant or k. So, we're going to divide both sides by 3. Cancel 3. And then, simplify. 36 divided by 3 is 12. So, the value of k here is 12. So, after looking for the constant, we're going to look for the missing value of the variable, which is x. So, that is the second part of the statement. We're going to rewrite the equation. y is equal to kx over z. So, wag pong kakalimutan yun. Kung ano yung ginamit na equation sa unang part, so, same equation din dun sa second part. So, hindi po pwede magkabali-baliktad yan. So, dapat ganyan pa rin yung itsura. And then, after that, we're going to replace the value. We're looking for x here. So, the value of y in the second part is 8. And then, the value of k is 12. And then, x. And then, z is equal to 9. So, again, we're going to do cross multiplication. So, over 1. So, 12x times 1. So, that will still be 12x. And then, another one here. 8 times 9 is 72. Isolate x. By dividing both sides by 12. So 12 divided by 12 is 1. Cancel that. X is already alone. And then simplify 72 divided by 12. We will get 6. So the value of X here is 6. The next part or the next example here is X varies directly as the square of Y. And inversely as Z. If X is equal to 16 when y is equal to 8 and z is equal to 8, find z when x is equal to 84 and y is equal to 6. Again, combined variation. So we're going to write first the equation. So nauna po yung x. So we have here x varies directly as the square of y. So k y squared varies directly as the square of y. And then inversely as z. So that will be our equation. Then after that, we're going to separate the whole statement. So it will be until here, z is equal to 8. 
Let's look for the constant or solve for the constant. We're going to replace the value here. So the value of x is 16. And then k, the value of y is 8. And then squared. And then the value of z is 8 again. So before doing the cross multiplication, so let's simplify first the exponent. We have here 16 is equal to k times 64 and then over 8. So let's do now cross multiplication. And then later on, I will teach you another method aside from cross multiplying. So let's do the cross multiplication. So k times 64, so that will be 64k. And then 16 times 8 will be 128. So divide both sides by 64. And the value of k now is... So 128 divided by 64 is 2. Now I'm going to show you another method in solving for the constant without doing cross multiplication. Um, let's go back here. Let's rewrite that 16 is equal to k times 64 over 8. So pwede naman na hindi na tayo mag cross multiply dito. Since if we're going to take a look, yung 64 at saka 8 ay pwede na nating i-divide. 64 divided by 8, so that will be 8. So we have here 16 is equal to k times 8. So paano naging 8 yan? So dinivide natin. 64 divided by 8, so that is 8. So we cancel or we simplify this already. Then after that, we can divide this already by 8. And then simplify 16 divided by 8. So the answer will still be or the answer will be 2 still. So hindi naman sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay kailangan gawin yung cross multiplication. But it's up to you what method you're going to use. So let's go back here in this part. So 9 over 1 is equal to k and then 3 over 4. Here in this part, we don't have any choice but to use cross multiplication. Since hindi na rin naman talaga natin pwedeng i-divide yung 3 by 4, so what we're going to do is really to cross multiply. So k times 3 times 1, so that will be 3k, and then 9 times 4 is 36. So here, kailangan talaga nating mag cross multiply. So unlike dito, so again, pakita ulit natin, so k times 64, over 8. So, pwede tayo hindi mag-cross multiply dito. Dahil nga, divisible naman or pwede nating i-divide yung 64 by 8. So, it depends on the situation. But again, so it's up to you. So, you have to analyze the given situation and then it's up to you to decide what method you are going to use. As long as you will come up with the same and correct result. Let's resume to our solving combined variation. So going back, we are done already in finding the constant. So that is 2. And then the last part will be solving for the missing value of the variable, which is z. So we are in the second solving. So we will look at the second part of the statement. So again, we are going to rewrite the equation. So x is equal to k y squared over z. And then replace the value. So, x is equal to 84, k is equal to 2, and then y is equal to 6, and then don't forget the squared, and over z. So, here, since variable naman yung nasa ilalim, so hindi naman natin to pwedeng i-divide. So, we don't have any choice but to use cross multiplication. So, cross multiply, we have here 84 times z, so that will be 84z. And then cross multiply again. So same lang yan. So we forgot to simplify first yung exponent, but that's fine. So 84z. 
And then after that, simplify muna natin yung exponent. Rewrite 84z. So 2 times 36. So that will be 6 squared. And then after that, multiply 2 by 36. We have 84z. is equal to 2 times 36 is 72. And then after that, we're going to divide both sides by 84. Divided by 84. So cancel. So we write natin dito, we will have Z is equal to 72 over 84. Not yet our final answer. We can still reduce this to lowest term. And both of them are divisible by 12. 72 divided by 12 is 6. And 84 divided by 12 is 7. And this is already our final answer. So the missing value of the variable which is z is equal to 6 over 7. And that's all for today. Thank you.